That's dark. A body modification expert has spent the last decade tattooing himself black, from his skin to his eyeballs. Eli Inc. is a 27-year-old tattoo artist from Brighton, England, who became obsessed with body mods after seeing his uncle's tribal tattoo. Inspired by Picasso, Eli says he wants to look like an abstract character in one of Picasso's paintings. So, he covered most of his body with black ink and also tattooed the inside of his mouth and his eyeballs. Ink also has a bunch of other, well, just look at his pictures. You get the idea. Apparently, he's still a work in progress. Good luck with that. Like body mods? Keep watching. Meaningful tattoos. Thai police recently arrested runaway Japanese Yakuza boss Shigeharu Shirai after pictures of his tattoos went viral on Facebook. The 74-year-old Yakuza boss fled his country after he was allegedly involved in shooting a gang rival in 2003. Shirai's tattoos led to his internet fame when someone uploaded a photo of him playing a checkers game. Other pictures show that Shirai was missing part of his little finger. That is a result of Yubitsume, a self-administered punishment when Japanese Yakuza gangs make a mistake or break a gang's code. While people are intrigued by Shidai's body art, tattoos are actually used as punishment for criminals in ancient Japan, as it would make it difficult for them to re-enter society after they were released from prison. However, the Yakuza see tattoos as a mark of pride as there are meanings behind each one. The samurai on Shidai's back is quite common among the Yakuza. It represents the samurai code, honor, courage, loyalty, and proper action. The flower on his nipple could mean three different things, the peony, lotus, or chrysanthemum. A peony represents wealth, elegance, and prosperity. It can also relate to masculinity or a daredevil attitude. The lotus in Buddhist culture means a struggle for something to reach its full potential. A chrysanthemum represents the imperial family and links to longevity and joy. According to Kotaku, the flower has yet to be colored on Shirai's abdominal area and is called a sujibori, a tattoo that has an unfinished story. The tattoo on Shirai's lower back is supposed to illustrate change, adaptation, and life. According to Thai authorities, Shidai will be charged with illegally entering Thailand and then deported to Japan to face the murder charges. Grounded due to plastic surgery Three Chinese women reportedly weren't allowed to board their flight and got stuck in an airport in South Korea after getting massive plastic surgery done. The three Mulans looked like they just got out of a boxing match with swollen faces and lips and their heads wrapped in bandages. They were stopped by South Korean immigration officials. No, not for bad judgment, but for looking nothing like their passport photos. The picture of the three beasts was widely shared over knockoff Chinese social media platforms. It's become a thing over the past decade for insecure Chinese women to travel to South Korea to go under the knife so they can get transformed into ugly women who clearly look like they've gotten way too much work done. Chinese women in search of a new face visit South Korea using medical tourist visas. Almost 100,000 Chinese visited South Korea in 2016 to get things pumped up, sliced off, and reshaped. No word on what happened to the three women, but they're still in South Korea. Maybe they should think about some plastic surgery. Oh, wait. Tattoo Parvo is offering free Trump and Sanders designs. It began in New Hampshire, at a tattoo parlor inking customers with Donald Trump-inspired designs. From there, the idea spread to Vermont, where Artistic Ink Studio decided to offer free tattoos of Bernie Sanders to anyone who wanted to cover up a Trump tattoo. That offer was then extended to anyone who just wanted to show off their eternal support to the Democratic presidential candidate. So far, 27 people got Trump, while 30 have felt the burn. And more are apparently on the books, with people coming from all over to get their favorite political candidate marked on their skin forever. Now that's what we call dedication, or maybe just armchair activism. But the major question concerning all these tattoos is why? Seriously, just why? Do these people honestly believe they won't change allegiance or develop new political ideas later in life? We'd love to ask the ones who got Obama tattoos a few years back wherever they're still showing them off. But if you must get one, our advice is get it in a place you can cover it up, and most definitely not your face. And for goodness sake, at least get a well done one. Tattoos could make you sick. 
Thinking about getting some ink? Might want to think again. A new study finds tattoo ink may leave microscopic particles that can circulate in the immune system and end up in the lymph nodes. Scientists examined deceased individuals with tattoos and deceased individuals without tattoos using X-ray fluorescence to identify ink particles. They also used Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy to detect biomolecular changes in the surrounding tissue. Researchers found elevated levels of metals, including aluminum, chromium, iron, nickel, and copper in the lymph nodes and skin in some of the tattooed subjects. The study concluded contamination could lead to chronic enlargement of the lymph nodes and long-term exposure to toxic compounds. The scientists say the next step will be to study what particular health effects ink particles may cause in the human body.